thank you to our awesome patrons who made this video possible. To join our community and get cool rewards like postcards from around the world, click the link in the description or go to patreon.com slash the way away. Good morning from Germany. Good morning, Wayfam. <laughs> we are at Berg Elts Castle. We've got Ashley, Laura, and me, Josh. We're going to be exploring this castle, but there's no filming and no drones allowed, so make sure to check out our other video on it. We're going to explore it and enjoy it for ourselves a little bit, and then we're going to do even more today. I wanted to take a quick second to remind you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. YouTube really likes it when you subscribe uh, and it helps you and other people like you see the videos. If you are already subscribed, make sure to hit the notifications because it's the best way to know when the video actually comes out. Now, we just finished taking the castle tour. Laura, whoa, Laura was on it with the first time. This is actually our second time. I think I mentioned to check out the other video, but um, it was really cool. This is probably one of my favorite castles in Germany, I think. It was started being built on this rock here around the 1100s. It's been around for 850 years, and it's been in the, ex in the same family for like the entire time. I think that's the coolest bit. Yeah, and we learned that the current owner doesn't live at the castle. He lives near Frankfurt, but he still comes about once a week. Um, I guess to check on things. I'm curious what he, um, if this is all he does or if he's yeah. involved in other projects. I don't know. Now I like want to research the family yeah. and be like, so what does this family do? They've owned this castle for 850 years. Yeah. We did learn that there was one battle waged here on only one and it was in I think the 1200s when the Archbishop Arch something of Trier, a city very close to here, came and besieged the castle and said basically bend the knee and the family bent the knee and it's still in the family and as far as I know it's planned to stay with the family. I think it's so cool. I love this castle because it's full of history, it's the same family and the same family's history is in the same building for centuries. Yeah the, and the castle's never been destroyed so right. it's all original. As close to yeah, as, as original close, yeah. as possible. It's amazing so Authentic. definitely come check it out if you can and it's I think this is probably the best castle that I've ever been to. Yeah and it's called Berg Elt. Berg Elt. Yeah. excuse to see a castle is a good excuse for me so when we're by the Mosul it is great to stop at Berg Elts. It's good to know also that parking is two euro per car and to take a tour inside of Berg Elts it's 10 euro per person and it's around an hour tour as well as they have English tours available so if you don't speak German you can take an English tour in the castle and learn all about the different rooms and things inside the castle. Next adventure for the day, we are in the German countryside and we are making our way to a bridge. It's like a suspension sky? bridge. Oh, a suspension bridge. It's supposed to be super duper long, so we have to walk through these German fields. There's windmills on my right, yellow flowers on my left. This is pretty cute and awesome. I'm going to attempt to say the name of the bridge, Geraling. It's lovely Great and number. it's free. So it's just a nice walk in the countryside and then a giant, huge, long suspension bridge. I think it's Gerle. Gerle. Ger Gerle. It's probably easier than what we're making it out to be. Mm -hmm. The birds of Germany are amazing. They're everywhere and they always have such a, a little song to sing and I love it so much because wherever we go, we can hear birds singing and it's like one of my favorite things. I just love hearing this. Birds, just so happy. It's so nice. You might have noticed these beautiful yellow fields that we've seen while we've been in Germany. This is actually uh, canola or rapeseed, but they use it for canola oil. Actually, we learned that the farmers actually can make more money selling it for ethanol than actually just canola oil. So nowadays there are a lot of farmers who grow this so that they can make ethanol and use it for gas, which is amazing. Very cool, and something I never knew. In addition to innovative technologies like canola oil for ethanol, they also have wind farms everywhere, and we've seen solar panel farms everywhere. So I believe it's in Germany's plan by 2025, or within 25 years, pretty sure it's 2025, that they will be 50% um, fueled 
by renewable sources of energy. They're hoping to completely get rid of nuclear power in Germany very soon and uh, going green is part of that whole process. So that's pretty cool to have the country like on track to get everything done in time. a little bit but it doesn't feel wobbly at all like just a little tiny tiny bit can you feel it yeah yeah it's not bad we we went to a suspension bridge in in uh canada i feel like it was way more wobbly this is german engineering at oh its okay, finest. Yeah. <laughs> sorry canadians <laughs> ash is right this is super solid like i'm on here trying to rock it and like it's barely moving. It's got guide cables that are tying it on the sides and the guide cables themselves are shaped in an arc. So it like pulls it and keeps it taut the whole way through. There's this little game that Josh likes to play and it's all about like building bridges. What is that called? Oh, poly bridge. It, this is what this, that reminds me of where Josh would make like a little bridge in this game and then little cars would have to drive over it to see if they could make it or not. <laughs> and it would crumble if you did terrible uh, little, architecture little of bit it. Morbid. But <laughs> so funny. It's kind of scary walking backwards because <laughs> I'm afraid of the little nubs that are on the ground <laughs> and I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> Toes are dangling over the edge. <laughs> Stacy, I know your mom will yell at me for that one. <laughs> but it's kind of cool. People have walked all the way down there and then like put their little names in the um, wood on the very bottom. So funny. You do a little heart in a J and an A. Oh. I'm not walking down there. <laughs> I think what's super impressive to me is the amount of people who are actually here exploring the bridge. Like there's probably a good 50 to 100 people and some are on the sides, some are in the middle of the bridge. They're all just walking around and there's like trails that go through here. It's a really nice place to just come for a walk. How many of you would not walk across that? That's what I want to know. Would you jump off of it? That's the question. I mean, if there's something that would keep me from dying, yeah. Yeah. Okay, am I? Easier said than actually doing it. There's no option, so. Oh, yeah, I'd do it, no yeah. problem, no big deal. <laughs> we came down the hill to Koblenz. We're gonna try and get some wine and sit next to the Rhine? I think that's the Rhine. It's the rhyme. We decided to get a glass of Riesling, which is what you have here, and then a nice platter of three soft cheeses that comes with some bread. We're just gonna share this little snackaroo. I think our best, like our favorite thing to do here is a snack and drink wine. <laughs> That's what we do best, at least. Yeah, yeah. And especially after all that hiking, we really deserve uh, it. Yeah, you know? yeah. We yeah. worked up this. Uh, Intense hiking. Yeah. And thirst. <laughs> here and near the Mosul, I didn't realize the difference between the flavors of the dry and the semi-dry and I, I just always thought Riesling was a sweet wine. So something that I learned and something that fun for you guys to do is try different Rieslings and see the different flavors and test them. But also come to the Mosul and test them here because I'm pretty sure this is the best place you can come and have a tasting of Riesling. We are going to walk down the Rhine River and see where the Rhine and the Main come together but 
Look at what's behind me, a huge beautiful cruise ship that's going down the Rhine. If you guys missed it, Josh and I did an amazing cruise here in Germany. We'll put, we'll link the playlist up here for you guys so you can watch it because it was so, so much fun. But now, let's hang out and chill in the beautiful sunshine on the river. Games to play. Or fish. Look at that happy cat. Alright, that is it for our day. We had a fun time just moseling along. The joke that Laura came up with. They love my joke. It's a really good joke. We had a really, I mean, honestly, this, this is so fun to just kind of, I don't know, just, just relax and just wander and explore a little bit. It's really nice. Yeah, it, the Mosul is a place where you just can go from town to town. It doesn't matter. All you do is sip wine and you just enjoy the ambiance of Germany. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, Wayfam, I hope we encouraged you to get out there and travel today. Bring on a third wheel, I mean friend, with you <laughs> as much as you want. No, I'm just kidding. But it's a really fun time, so definitely come to Germany. Definitely check out the Mosul, and we're going to be sharing a little bit more of Germany on the next video before heading off for new adventures. Yeah. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Good night. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Yeah, yeah. got three <laughs> in one. <laughs> A huge shout out to all of our patrons who helped make this video possible. If you want to follow more, go to Instagram at wayawaymag. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out our second channel, Way More, if you want to see way more from us. Ooh.